another headlining uh, role on Fox, big opportunity, but uh, is it any different this time around? Do you feel more comfortable or any different at all? Yeah, I feel great. I had very good training camp, so I prepared in my 150% and just wait until Saturday to show all the best of me and to take the victory and go forward. How about all the attention and the responsibility to promote the events and all those things? Is that is that difficult for you? It's a part of job and uh, I'm very happy to be like a main event here in UFC Denver and it's of course it's a, a lot of responsibility but I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever will come. What do you think about Juliana? I know you take the martial arts very seriously. She's very bold and outspoken and you know makes claims. I mean do you think that she follows that path of martial arts or do you, do you not like the way she approaches the promotion? I am in martial arts more than 20 years. I started when I had five years old. I fought with all kinds of opponents, like quiet, very loud opponents, and uh, who speak too much, who don't speak. And uh, it doesn't help for them at all, because in the octagon, in the ring, we are, have two hands, two legs, I'm sorry. <laughs> I already start. <laughs> and this is it. Uh, that's why I'm very uh, confident in my power. Uh, I know that I, what I have, I have a lot. And uh, each my fight, I became more stronger and more stronger. I know that Holly didn't have the belt when you fought her, but how much how much confidence did that give you to, to be able to, to beat her the way you did and, and to you know, beat her someone that had the championship? Um, for every my fight, I prepare like for the last fight, and uh, every time when I on the stage, when I on the octagon on the ring, I go there for the victory. I don't go there for just participating. I'm there for just for, to the win, and that's why when I fought with Holly, it was the same. It was my mental, um, mental like uh, uh, meditation, and to go there and take the fight and win the fight. To, to have a performance like you did, uh, how, how, I mean, did that do anything for your confidence level to just say, wow, I, I came out and I dominated her? Uh, you know, a 17 time World Muay Thai champion. So um, I know everything about martial arts. It's nothing that uh, I feel like surprised me. I understand this question, but it's more for the um, people who just start yeah. their way in martial arts. But it's every time when you are competing in world championship with the best fighters around the whole world, you like change your uh, mind. As somebody who's been a world champion, then what would a, a UFC title mean, which you could have a shot at if you lose this fight? Sorry? So you've been a world champion before, but you have a chance to maybe win a UFC title if you win this fight. So what would that mean to you if you were able to get it that? It means a lot because I'm a professional fighter and my goal is uh, to be the champion, to receive this title shot and fight uh, uh, for the winner. And that's why I go there and every every fight is one step closer. And I consider this fight, it's uh, very uh, closely to the title shot. So it's very important for me to win this. Would you be upset if you, if you didn't get the title shot if you win this? Mm, let's speak after the fight. <laughs> Are you aware of the new rule changes in MMA and how they're not actually being um, enacted in Colorado? Uh, yes, I heard uh, and uh, with training for Colorado it will be the same rules I think. So it will be all the same and um, when we go for the next fight we will start to prepare in distant uh, manner.